All right, second to last problem here. Number 67, we're still rationalizing the denominator. And we've been given 3 over 4 minus radical 2. And you'll notice the difference here between 66 and 67. 67 here, we have two terms in our denominator, whereas 66, we only had a single term. It was just a radical 11. But we're going to do almost the same thing. We're still going to multiply this original uh, fraction by 1, except now we're going to multiply by the conjugate of our denominator. So we're going to multiply by 4 plus radical 2 over 4 plus radical 2. Remember, anything over itself is 1, so we're multiplying the original fraction by 1. We're just now, instead of having a radical in the denominator, we're changing the form around, so we will get rid of that radical in the denominator, but the value will be the same because we're only multiplying by 1. Conjugate just means keep the terms the same, just flip the sign. So if you have a minus in your original fraction, your conjugate will have a plus. If you had a plus, your conjugate will have a minus. All right, let's see what we have here. And now we're going to distribute this 3 through, right? Because you could put a set of parentheses around this if you wanted to. So we have 3 times 4 gives us 12. And 3 times radical 2 is plus 3 radical 2. And now over... And you might recall with conjugates, we don't have to FOIL this whole thing out. We can just do our first to our first and our last to our last. So 4 times 4 is 16. Negative radical 2 times positive radical 2 is minus radical 4. And so we have 12 plus 3 radical 2 over 16 minus 2. Right? Radical 4 can come out free, clean, and clear as a 2. So we end up with 12 plus 3 radical 2 over 16 minus 2 is 14. And there we have the final answer for number 67. 12 plus 3 radical 2 over 14.